Hello and welcome. To solve this logarithmic equation, we are going to start by simplifying this term and this term. Now here we have 4 to the power log x plus 1. But of course, you know that we can write 4 as 2 squared. So this is equal to 2 squared to the power log x plus 1. Now, remember that when we have a situation like this, to get rid of these brackets, what we do is to multiply these two powers. And when we do that, this becomes 2 to the power 2 times log x plus 1. Now, in this case, we have 3 to the power log x squared plus 2. Now, what we are going to do is that we will apply the power rule to this log term. We are going to bring down this exponent 2 to the front of the log term to become a multiplier. When we do that, this term becomes 3 to the power 2 times log x plus 2. And of course, you can see that between these two terms, we have a common factor, which is 2. So we can factorize. We have 3 to the power 2 multiplied by 2 log x divided by 2 is log x and plus 2 divided by 2 is plus 1. So now we are going to rewrite the original equation as 2 to the power 2 times log x plus 1 minus 6 to the power log x divided by 3 to the power 2 times log x plus 1 is equal to 2. Now, when you look at this equation, here you have log x plus 1, and here you also have log x plus 1. So, let log x plus 1 be equal to d. And of course, you know that when we subtract 1 from both sides of this equation, we have that log x is equal to d minus one. Now we can rewrite this equation in terms of d. Here we have 2 to the power 2 times d minus 6 to the power d minus 1 divided by 3 to the power 2 times d. And of course this is equal to 2. Now let us rewrite this equation as 2 to the power 2d divided by 3 to the power 2d minus 6 to the power d minus 1 divided by 3 to the power 2d is equal to 2. And let us look at this term. Remember that 6 to the power d minus 1 can be written as 6 to the power d divided by, because of the subtraction, 6 to the power 1. So that means that this fraction is the same as 6 to the power d divided by 6 times 3 to the power 2d. But now let us remember that 6 is equal to 2 times 3. So this is equal to 2 times 3 to the power d divided by 6 times. Now we can break this apart. We have 3 to the power d multiplied by 3 to the power d. And of course, when we open this bracket, we have 2 to the power d multiplied by 3 to the power d divided by 6 times 3 to the power d times 3 to the power d. Of course, this is going to cancel one of that. To leave us with 2 to the power d divided by 6 times 3 to the power d. So what we are now going to do is that we will replace this with 2 to the power d divided by 6 times 3 to the power d. And now notice that in this term, we have 2 to the power 2d and 3 to the power 2d. 
the exponents are the same. So we can write this in the form 2 over 3 to the power 2d minus. Here we have 2 to the power d and 3 to the power d. So we can also combine that as 2 over 3 to the power d. And of course, this is equal to 2. And at this point, we need to do another substitution. So let 2 over 3 to the power d be equal to y. With this substitution, this equation is now going to be y squared minus 1 over 6y is equal to 2. And of course, to get rid of this fraction, we multiply through this equation by 6. y squared times 6 is 6y squared. 1 over 6y times 6 is y. And of course, 2 times 6 is equal to 12. Rearranging this quadratic equation, we have 6y squared minus y minus 12 is equal to 0. We can factorize this equation. Let us use the table method. The factors of 6y squared are 2y and 3y. And the factors of minus 12 are minus 3 and 4. Now, when we multiply 2y by 4, we have 8y. And when we multiply 3y by minus 3, we have minus 9y. And 8y minus 9y is equal to minus y. So we have that this quadratic equation can be factorized as 2y minus 3. multiplied by 3y plus 4 is equal to 0. And of course, from here, we have that either 2y minus 3 is equal to 0 or 3y plus 4 is equal to 0. When we add 3 to both sides of this equation, we have that 2y is equal to 3. And when we divide both sides of this equation by 2, we have that y is equal to 3 over 2. Now, when we subtract 4 from both sides of this equation, we have that 3y is equal to minus 4. And when we divide both sides of this equation by 3, we have that y is equal to minus 4 over 3. But now, let us remember that y is equal to 2 over 3 to the power d. So here we have 2 over 3 to the power d is equal to 3 over 2. And here we have 2 over 3 to the power d is equal to minus 4 over 3. Now, of course, you know that there is no real value of d that is going to give us a negative output. So this equation is unacceptable. Now, notice that we can write this as 2 over 3 to the power minus 1. So here we have that 2 over 3 to the power d is equal to 2 over 3 to the power minus 1. And of course, when we compare both sides of this equation, we have that d is equal to minus 1. So now finally, we found the value of d. And finally, to find the value of x, we go back to this equation. So we have that log x is equal to d minus 1. So log x is equal to minus 2. Now, remember that when we write log without specifying the base, it means we are working in base 10, common logarithms. So this simply means that log to base 10 of x is equal to minus 2. And of course, you know that when we have a statement like this, it means that 10 to the power minus 2 is equal to x. So we have that x is equal to 10 to the power minus 2. That is 1 over 100. That is 0 0.01. So this is the value of x that satisfies this logarithmic equation.
Now to check our answer, let us substitute this value of x into this equation. We have 4 to power log x. Of course, log x is minus 2 plus 1 minus 6 to power minus 2 divided by 3 to power log x squared. Now remember that log x squared, when we apply the power rule, is the same as 2 log x. So that is 2 times minus 2 which is minus 4 plus 2. Here we have 4 to the power minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1. 6 to the power minus 2 divided by 3 to the power minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2. 4 to the power minus 1 is 1 over 4. 6 to the power minus 2 is 1 over 6 squared, that is 1 over 36. And 3 to the power minus 2 is 1 over 3 squared, that is 1 over 9. And of course, this is the same as 1 over 4 minus 1 over 36 multiplied by... Now, when we divide by a fraction, we multiply by the reciprocal of that fraction. And the reciprocal of 1 over 9 is 9 over 1. So opening this bracket, we have 1 over 4 times 9. That is 9 over 4 minus 1 over 36 times 9. That is 9 over 36. This is 9 over 4 minus 9 into itself is 1 and into 36, 4. 1 over 4. 9 minus 1 is 8 over 4. And 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2, which is exactly what we have on the right-hand side of the equation. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.